Okay guys, so this is the new small padded cassette size. I honestly walked by this on the shelf of Nordstrom and I was like, this is so freaking adorable. I was shocked at how small it is and I love the ratios of this. I think they only have this available in like four colors right now. Black, blue, tan, and gray, I believe. But look, it's literally the size of my hand. And if you guys know how big my hands are, they're very small. I wasn't a fan of the padded cassette and now I feel like I really really like it. Is that wild? I also saw the new sage color in person and I think I loved it more looking at it online. I think in person it pulled a lot lighter than I expected it. It was, I thought it was like a gray green color but it was more gray than green. So. I finally was able to try on the white compact hammock with the white porcelain rabbit charm and I love the dimensions of the bag. I love how short and stocky it is. I think it's way more flattering against the body. However, my only gripe with this bag is it was a lot stiffer than I've tried on previous hammocks. I don't know if it's because all the new compact hammocks have that like vibrant pastel color and maybe something to treat the leather makes it stiffer let me know what you guys think of it and then of course i had to try on the rosemary flamenco ever since i saw patricia bright wear it i could not get it out of my mind and i really wanted to compare the rosemary color against the avocado green and i love it and then of course i had to try on the 16 amazon again i just love this bag so much i feel like the dimensions of this are so ultra cute but it is a little bit similar to my mini 16 I also tried on the white flamenco and I thought I was gonna love it because you guys know I want a white handbag But I think I would lean towards getting a color for the flamenco and then my essay made this decorative and he showed me a panda charm This is brand new. I was so close to buying this panda charm because it's black and white It would go with so many bags and then of course I had to try on this bag as well The silver hardware really just makes that blueberry leather pop you guys know that this is my favorite bag during the house moving castle collection i just i love it so much so all of you guys that were able to get this bag you guys are so lucky and i'm so so jealous it's so cute so here's the blueberry one and then the black one side by side obviously the different hardware as you can kind of see the difference they should honestly come out with like black but with silver hardware i think that would be fun then i popped into potega because i wanted to try on the shoulder bag that i mentioned in my previous video and then when i was trying it on the essay gave me this one just to kind of compare one is more rectangular the other one is more like crescent half moon shaped one has the intrasato leather you guys know i mentioned this in my previous video the leather just felt really light and depending on who you are you might prefer the lightness of it but in person i just I wasn't a big fan of it. It was kind of a little bit underwhelming. I feel like I expected so much from it and it just didn't deliver for me personally. And I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but what I noticed when I tried on this bag is that it actually had quite a few scratches. Like it looked kind of used, but then again, it could just like maybe the crinkled look was what this bag was going for. But online, it didn't give me that crinkled look. So I was like, um, yeah, not a fan. So we are at Lueve again and I walked in and I saw these two new colors, this light pale beige which I'm so obsessed with and they also had this really nice shade of kind of like grey to silver but obviously not metallic. It's a really soft grey and I really really like this because I really wanted the Chanel 19 in the grey color and I feel like this would be a good substitute. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the rosemary one more, this grey color or the beige one? I just... I love Love them so much but oh my gosh it's so cute i'm obsessed and then as per usual you guys know i always have to try on the amazona between the 16 and the 19 does anyone own both sizes if you guys do please let me know i'm really at a crossroads on which size to get but i love this bag so much and then update of course i had to try on the cerulean blue crossbody camera bag i really like the silver hardware on this i think it complements the bag so well i feel like this is a great unisex bag i the handle is a little bit short um it's definitely not like you can't put it under your wrist or anything like that but i actually really like the dimensions i think this is really cute i feel like this would be a great bag to travel with 
And then guys, this display area just screams springtime to me. The pink tones with the, it complements that shade of green so freaking well. If you guys see on the flamenco, there's a little peach charm. They used to have this metal peach charm. They actually might still have it. And I really wanted to buy it, but I already bought the fox charm. And I was like, Maggie, you have to hold back. You don't need two bag charms right now. But I love the shade of muted pink on the side of it. But what really caught my attention was this scarf. Do you see how big the patch of Lueve is? and also like the noodle part hanging down i think this is so cute i immediately went online to see like how much this was and it's like 600 dollars. but they do have a smaller version of this scarf what do you guys think do you guys like the bigger patch or the smaller one i really might buy it even though summer is literally maybe like a month and a half away and i don't need a scarf but i really really want it <laughs> And then I popped into Celine really, really quickly. They have this new small basket bag. I mean, this isn't new. This has been out for a couple months, but I tried it on. If I were to get a basket bag, I actually would lean towards Lueve just because I feel like they were the original, quote unquote, original basket bag. But I thought this was really cute. And then this is pretty new. It's very flat, narrow, and thin. I thought it looked really interesting on the display and I wanted to try it on the shape what do you guys think about this see i didn't know how i felt and then i actually got it under the crook of my arm and i was like hmm i think i kind of like this or what do you guys think is it a little too wide i i actually like the thinness it can't fit anything but aesthetically i like it very modern also guys this taupe and yellow beanie what do we think that taupe one i see so many pictures of lisa wearing the taupe one and now i want the taupe one i hate i hate myself honestly but i really want the yellow with the c because i never got the blue navy cap with the c on it and they did re-release it just letting you guys know if you didn't know so you can buy it if you guys want to get it the one that lisa always wore but I think the yellow beanie kind of gives me the C that I want and then on top of that you guys know my affinity for pale yellow things I don't need another beanie again summer is around the corner but I really really want it somebody please stop me and then guys I might buy this shirt honestly I'm either gonna get this shirt or I'm gonna get a plain top from Lueve what would you guys lean towards see I really like this shirt because it has the Celine cursive you guys know that they came out with the Celine cursive in the vertical kibas and only in a couple pieces but it, it was very limited or should I get a Lueve basic please somebody help me Okay guys, I thought this was actually really interesting. This is the Triumph shoulder bag in the natural calf skin. You guys know online the natural calf skin is like $200 more expensive than the regular box leather or whatever. Do you guys see all the scratches on this? The natural calf skin is supposed to be way more delicate than the box, but literally look at all the scratches. This is new on display. So if any of you guys are thinking of getting the natural tan calf skin for the 16 bag, just be wary that it does tend to scratch pretty easily but it is i guess softer so give and take okay guys i finally tried on the small padded cassette and i have to tell you that i'm officially converted i don't like the regular padded cassette i think it's too clunky it's too big with or without the chain i would rather have the regular cassette however the new padded cassette size is just so flattering on people that are my height i think if you're petite get it and then they do have this brand new color in the shade mermaid i even looked it up online as soon as i got in the car and this color isn't available yet online the essay told me it's called mermaid so just note it this is such a vibrant muted green an oxymoron but oh i was so obsessed i asked if she had anything else in this mermaid color and she just had a mini jody sad because the black looked so good i had to try on the other colors this is the one in gray which i kind of adore out of all the four colors that are available right now the gray definitely is my favorite but again i'm kind of biased because i don't have any gray bags in my collection but i just thought the tone of this gray was so nice and then i did try on just the regular cassette i actually love just the regular cassette the flat one not the padded i this was on my wish list but i just have other bags that i prioritize but if i had money to spare oh for sure i would get the regular cassette this mermaid color has me in a chokehold i love it so much i honestly couldn't get over how much i love this bag because if you guys have seen in my previous videos i'm not really that into the pad cassette and this has officially converted me the dimensions of this are just so good please try it on especially if you're a short girl like me 
and then this caramel color very warm version of the chanel 21p but like you know how they had that pumpkin-y shade this is that and i really like this obviously the strap is not removable but this would be such a cute clutch like obviously you would have to wrap the strap around but i actually really really like this as a clutch as well obviously it's not an actual clutch what do you guys think do you hate it do you like the big one more i'm obsessed Alrighty, guys so we have come to the end of today's video i'm super sorry for the unprofessionalism of me not having an intro or an outro to today's shopping vlog it was just super quick there were just certain bags that i really really wanted to check out so this is more like an update on all the bags that i've mentioned in previous videos if you guys have been following my okay dior's just done with me if you guys have been following my previous new bags or just bags that i've been thinking about this is the update of whether or not my opinion has changed whether or not it reaffirms my opinion on certain bags please let me know down in the comments if you guys were okay with this kind of format it's very casual very simple but yes as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps for my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video say bye dior